What's up guys? We are coming to an end on wine down week. It has been such a fun week. So much wine has been consumed. It's been the absolute best time, but we wanted to end it on a very special note. I'm sure you've heard his breakout single, The Difference. Please welcome my good friend, Tyler Rich. What's How you up, doing? Tyler? Good How to are see you? you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. This is okay, awesome. Okay, so question. Are you super into wine? Uh, I am super into drinking wine. Okay. Yeah. Grew up close to Napa. Yeah. So like wine was always like a big thing for everybody around us and obviously the tourism stuff growing up there. I I'd like to pretend that I could pick up a bottle and be like, this has a... Uh, pick up notes of chocolate and burgundy or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you more of like a red or a, a white kind of guy? Red, for sure. Yeah. Although, this hot girl summer has been pretty, pretty, uh, lots of white wine. I don't know why. For some reason I started um, our guitar player, Joe. He's like, he's the bougie one in the band. And yeah. We'll all be just drinking bourbon or beer or something, and then all of a sudden he's like sipping on a, he's got his own like chilled bottle of wine on the bus, and sipping on white wine, and I don't know, I've, I've gotten surprisingly into white wine this summer. So you have a new single, right? Trucks Don't Lie? Trucks Don't Lie. Well, do you want to play it? Is I would it time like to, to play, play the song? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Send it. Uh, you said a thousand words. How about a thousand right, stories of wine? Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, all right. This song, Trucks Don't Lie, was, you know, it's a collection of Jim McCormick. Adam Craig and myself in the different moments that we've all experienced in the, the bad side of being cheated, right? Of a cheating situation. There ain't a thing wish I could change on it. I'll keep it and drive it to the ground. I don't even want to drive it around on that leather still. So what we wanted to do with Trucks Don't Lie is write that song where like, you know, Eminem said music is a time machine, you know, and so is a truck, so is your car, so is whatever, any and every little thing that reminds you of that person. And, but as we were writing the song, I was like, man, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I don't even know anymore. Um, when I was breaking up with somebody, it was like the Ross and Rachel thing. And we're like, are we on a break? We're not on a break, we are on a break, blah, blah. And no matter how many times she told me that she was not moving on, that she was still, you know, faithful, whatever you want to call it. behind me, wish I could be in the truth. Then I ain't missing you, but trucks don't lie. New on in your drive, trucks don't lie. She could lie to me a thousand times, but in the middle of the night one night when I drove by her house, there not cre not creepy, it wasn't creepy. It was like a pretty, bu pretty busy yeah, road, okay. <laughs> pretty busy road. Um, you there definitely was, intentionally would drive down that road, don't even. At least five times a day. <laughs> yeah. uh, there we go. Yeah, at, at least, five, to at least five times a day. Um, it was, yeah, it was my almost exact same truck. I saw that truck there and it just felt like it was mine. It felt like our past in a moment, right? I was like, oh wow, that's what it used to look like when we were together. Gets me from A to B, but it can't outrun your memory. Like every mile, it reminds me your goodbye. Too far behind me, wish I could in the truth. Said that I ain't missing you, trucks don't lie. And yeah, so we just kind of throw all these little details together of a person can lie to you a thousand times, but a truck, um, an inanimate object that can't talk, obviously, yeah. tells you the truth. Says annoying words. Yeah. Man, that's really cool. For sure. Awesome. Yeah. I wish I could have been the truth. Tell that I ain't missing you, but trucks don't lie. The new one in your drive, trucks don't lie. Whoa. Trucks don't lie. Y'all heard it here first. Trucks don't lie. It's amazing. Awesome. I Thanks. love that so much. Thank you. Well, you got. I see your guitar over there. Oh, my plane too. All right. I think you should. All right. I love um, your new song. Hey, thank you. The, Which one? The Get back in the sand. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, the whole it's band. Scary. We're just it's a lyrics stuck in all of our heads all the time. Good job. Um, I'll probably do never till now. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. my good friend Matt Roy and I was at a place where I was like fresh out of breakup and just over the whole dating love scene um, and Matt was happily in a relationship mm -hmm. and so we both were talking about it and I was like I'm so sick of feeling this like just exhaustion and sadness and breakup I want to write the story of like the manifestation of the kind of love that I want to have someday down the road. I never wanted to tap my brakes I never wanted to settle down 
I was always one foot out the door I never thought about turning round Never saw myself with a white piggy fat stuck into the ground Never tell now um, you know, So I actually put this song out without a feature on it first Just me um, singing it and I was independent, put it on social media and it had like a big viral moment People just loved the song, used it as their wedding song, their first dance song It was like crazy how it organically just kind of um, took off and I was like man everybody's relating to the song and they're loving the, the storyline you know they, they feel like they relate to it in their relationship so I want to give them country music's about storytelling right I want to give them both sides of the story both sides of the relationship I never thought about turning around never saw myself with a white picket fence dug into the ground never tell now Never till you walked into that bar And never till we talked over that song And never till we danced till closing time And never till you proved me wrong About the kind of love you fall so hard You never hit the ground Never till now And so my producer, Jimmy Robbins, you know Jimmy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Jimmy's the best. Of um, we were talking about who would be a great feature on this song mm -hmm. and Brett Young came to mind and his voice ended up being like the perfect, yeah. perfect mix in it. And so. For sure. Duets are important to find that voice that like... Mix as well. Yeah, for sure. Well, just like heightens both, you know? 100%. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now it's my first song at Country Radio, so... Let's go. It's and never till we dance till closing time And never till you prove me wrong About the kind of love you fall so hard You never hit the ground Never till now Fall so hard, you never hit the ground. Never till now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thanks. Another song always stuck in my head. Hell yeah, really? It's great. Oh, yeah. Cool. You're, You're crushing, crushing it. it. Oh, Twins. Let's go. <laughs> it must be the wine. We're bonding. <laughs> I love it. It has been such an amazing week for Wine Down Week. Thank you so much to the Academy of Country Music and A Thousand Stories of Wine. It has been so much fun. We got to play trivia with Lauren Elena. We got to do some food and wine pairing with my good friend Lily Rose. And we got to hang out with Tyler Rich and hear his brand new song, Trucks Don't Lie. Y'all go listen to that, but we'll see you next time. Thank you so much again. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.